welcome to learning max white board youtube channel so today uh, 10th uh, metric state board uh, mathematics exam answer key so 2024 mathematics exam answer key uh, here, here we go the questions are first question so n of a cross b cross product n of a cross b 6 then we have a set a which consists an element 1 comma 3 which means n of a that is 2 so we need to know what is n of b so we all know that n of b which is equal to n of a cross b divided by n of a so n of a cross b is what 6 n of a is what 2 1 2 is 2 3 2 is 6 so option c that is the correct answer 3 next second question look at the second question so a f is a, a a to b function a to b bijection so bijection means what that is 1 to 1 and on to function so 1 to 1 and on to so 1 to 1 means every uh, element has a uh, image okay that is 1 to 1 and on to means uh, codomain equal to range codomain equal to range so that n of a is 7 na. i mean n of b is 7 na. n of a also 7 only n of a is also 7 okay if f is a bijective function na, which means 1 to 1 and on to so n of a is 7 and also n of b is 7 then only you will get 1 to 1 and on to function third question least number that is divisible by all the numbers from 1 to 10 so they are asking we have to take the lcm of lcm of 1 2 3 4 5 etc to 10 numbers because they are asking 1 to 10 so if you are taking this now you will get the lcm of 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 if you multiply this you will get 2520 2520 is the correct answer next fourth question uh, fourth question ap consists 31 terms if 16th term is m then what is the sum of all the terms that is c 31 by I mean 31 m 31 m that is the correct answer ap consists 31 terms if if it is 16th term is m na, then what is the sum of all the terms of an ap next fifth question so fifth question here we have x power 4 plus 64 uh, that is the number which of the following should be added to make this one as a perfect square so we all know that x power 4 plus 16 x square plus 64 that will be the correct answer i'll tell you i'm going to take x power 4 as a a square plus 16 a because i just took a as a x square plus 64 so this is the uh, factorization of a plus 8 so a plus 8 that is the square root if you multiply a plus 8 into a plus 8 you will get this one so here a is, is it it is in the form of x square so obviously 15 i mean 16 b square is the i mean 16 x square is the correct answer option b 16 x square next fifth question the uh, graph of linear equation always it is a straight line okay graph of linear equation you should take uh, uh, whatever it is uh, f of x which is equal to 2x na if you put x equal to 1 na 1 comma 2 uh, 2 comma 4 that will be a straight line graph so you will get a graph of a straight line so that all linear equation means straight line parabola in the sense that is a quadratic equation so we all know that 17 7 seventh question so seventh question it is like a d divided by a b which is equal to a e divided by a c so if you substitute all those things you will get 1.4 that is the value of a e 1.4 that is the value of a e 1.4 centimeter so we have to use what uh, bpt theorem thurl's theorem we have to use straight line drawn uh, parallel to i mean straight line drawn uh, side which is parallel to the base then uh, a d divided by a e which is equal to a e divided by a c next eighth question how many tangents can be drawn to the circle from exterior point so we have a circle of exterior point this is exterior point i just take p so we can draw only two tangents so two is the correct answer next ninth question so ninth question very easy so just consider the graph 
x axis y axis okay this is x axis and this is y axis minus 5 comma 0 that is minus 5 comma 0 is here okay and then what next one is what uh, 5 comma 0 5 comma 0 is here next one is what 0 comma minus 5 0 comma minus 5 is here if you join this you will get a you will get what it is like what a triangle uh, this triangle is looking like uh, half bh we can use half bh triangle formula half into b into h they, we have to find the area of a triangle so half bh here half 1 by 2 base base is what this is 5 unit this is 5 unit totally 10 units and then height this is height we all know that this is 90 degree okay that is the height so that is what 5 units okay 50 divided by 2 10 5s are 50 divided by 2 25 square units 25 square units is the correct answer next 10th question so 10th question uh, very easy you can directly substitute you will get the answer uh, option a y square divided by b square minus x square divided by a square equal to 1 i'll tell you why it is so here we they they just use one identity one plus tan square theta which is equal to secant square theta so if you use this identity you will get the result y square divided by b square minus x square divided by a square direct substitution x equal to uh, a tan theta and y equal to b secant theta na? you will get the answer one 11th question so 11th question also very easy so the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder so right circular cylinder 2 pi r h so here 2 times r i will just consider as a d so d into h into pi so d is what 10 they will give d as a 10 so 10 into what is height that is 4 so 10 fours are 40 40 into pi so 40 pi square units next 12th question 12th question also very easy the ratio of uh, uh, volume of a cylinder we have to write the volume of cylinder and volume of cone and volume of a sphere so i'll tell you the answer first so this is the answer so we should take r as a r but h which is equal to 2 times r okay here they will make mistake so h equal to if you take 2 r na so we all know that volume of a cylinder formula pi r square h and uh, 1 by 3 pi r square h and sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube so you have to substitute all those things you will get the result as 3 is to 1 is to 2 option d 3 is to 1 is to 2 next 13th question so which of the following values cannot be probability of an event we all know that probability always lies between 0 to 1 not more than 1 not less than 0 so this is more than 1 so probability is always lies between 0 to 1 so which of the values cannot be a probability of an event 1.05 next 14th question so probability of getting a job for a person is x by 3 and not getting a job is 2 by 3 so this is complementary event this is event and this is complementary event so we all know that if you add this we will get what 1 okay if you add this you will get 1 so x plus 2 equal to 3 because these 3 goes to there right? it will multiplication so x equal to 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 always 1 option b is the correct answer okay so definitely the value of x is 1 next uh, we all know that we have to write all the question 9 question and then we have to answer the 28th question uh, what is that the compulsory question so they are asking hcf so 23 is a prime number so 23 means that is prime so we all know that so, so there is no factor it has only two factors one and itself so 1 comma 23 only factor so when it comes to 12 so 12 we have what 1 is a factor and 2 is a factor and 4 is a factor and 3 is a factor and 12 is a factor and 6 is a factor hcf means what highest common factor so we have to select common factor first so luckily we have one as a common factor there is no another common factor so obviously highest common factor is one okay so this is the correct answer for this compulsory question and then the five more compulsory is very easy 7 plus 77 plus 777 so that is a easy kind of sums you all know that so this only uh, this is also easy but you should know 23 is a prime number and 12 as a composite number if prime number involves means there is no common factor other than one 
सो वन इज ऑब्वियसली एच सी एफ ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो